Okay. Do you have controllers for two player games? Hey David! Yes! You're on the air today! Hello and mm -hmm. welcome to Family RPG, potentially playing an RPG tonight, but this is a little different. Um, this is the PlayStation Classic, and the games that it comes with aren't very good. So a lot of people online have managed to make it into a great emulation machine with all different kinds of games. So you can tell it starts, you, it's a, this pre-loaded 128 gigs of every single Atari 2600 game, every single Atari 7800 game, every single Atari Lynx, all Wonder Swan Color, Wonder Swan, ColecoVision, a lot of arcade games, but not a complete list, obviously. Uh, main list. PC Engine Turbo Graphics, uh, I think it's a complete list of that. Has complete Turbo Graphics CE, Super Graphics, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, Game Boy, a few N64 ROMs in there, uh, a few DS that don't really work very well. A complete original Nintendo, complete Pokemon Mini, complete Super Nintendo, complete Virtual Boy, complete 32X, uh, several Dreamcast ones that seem to crash it more often than not. Uh, mm -hmm. Game Gear, complete Master System, uh, complete Genesis, complete Sega CD, complete the SG-1000 actually like before the original Master System, uh, only in Japan. Uh, Neo Geo Pocket Color, Neo Geo PlayStation Portable has a bunch, mm. and then a few just PlayStation games. Oh, oh, a lot oh. of them are actually the same ones that are on the internal, so you don't you can boot to this and play the same games, but the US versions instead of the European a lot of times. So. Over Dad, over, what do you want to play? There are 7,500 <laughs> games on this stick. <laughs> Name a game. A lot of them are like repeats mm. of other games. Yeah. There's no different systems, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you can have like the, the same game be on the Genesis mm. and the 32X and the Super Nintendo, but they're slightly different versions. Something like <clears throat> Virtual uh -huh. Boy games, but without all the eye strain. Oh, yeah, they're still in the I mean, you're still looking at us, but you know. Yeah. Yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay. What about hmm. Altered Beast? Which version? You want the arcade version? The one they played on Retro Replay. I David, you want to describe that what Retro Replay is? The Retro highest, Replay. Highest resolution version. Is, is there is a this? difference? Right. So I have to think triangle and type in a. <clears throat> oh, you can actually search, huh? Yes. Wow, that's handy. Altered. Yeah, because you have to with 7,000. Uh, Altered. No. Altered. Altered Beast. Run. All your own beast. I think it's only one player at a time, though. Oh, yeah. Well, they're able to do player two player, I thought. Okay. Well, I don't know. In any case, the main emulator, and I will hook up. <laughs> Each one of these sticks comes yeah, with Yeah, they're doing two players right there. Okay. Yeah, unplug that. Plug <coughs> this in. Hmm. And I'll take that to ports. No. One. And undo this for mm. port two. <coughs> oh boy. Anyways. Oh, this, this is for dead. Oh. Okay. Use the Sony there things for a Sega game. Yes. Oh no! Oh no! Oh. Don't knock things Mr. over. Mr. Ballard. Yes. Anyways. He should put him over there to the side so he's out of the way of the cords. There you go. All right. I think it's Mr. Ballard. R. No. Can't figure out which one is insert coin. Select. Okay. Start. Okay. So you press the start button and oh. you can. Uh, start. Oh man, I guess. Zacked. Zacked. Do you get to pick who you play? Do you, do you play? Press start. Yeah. Someone press, start. Else? press start. Press start. You're not oh. playing, Dad. Oh, I'm not. There, there you go. go. Now you're on. You're in blue, Dad. Okay. Circle to punch. <clears throat> X to kick. Triangle to <clears throat> jump. And the more enemies you beat, the more powerful you become. And of course, since this is the arcade version, if you die, you just press select to put in more credits and you can come right back. <laughs> Unlike the Genesis or, or other versions, there's even ones for the Sega Master System that, you know, you're not putting in credits, you have a certain number of lives. All right. Bulking up. Oh. Altered, there you say. Altered beast! I didn't get to be a beast. No. You need to kill more things. David, describe what Retro Replay is. Retro Replay is Troy Baker and Nolan North, two famous voice actors who, if you've played pretty much any video game in the last decade, they've probably been a voice in that game. Probably the main voice. Yes. The main male protagonist. Mm hmm And so they, every week, they play a bunch of classic games. Well. At least 
supposed to be classic, but yeah. You know. Who died? I did. You died? I did. Even as his altered beast. <laughs> this is one of the games they played. Yes. Oh. Huh. And that was what they said every time they transformed. They transformed it. Oh. Yeah. That's and of course, true. they were using an emulator as well, so they could just put in as many quarters as they want. Oh, I'm You're pretty cool. much, it's pretty much the only way that can actually uh, complete a game is if they're playing it on the arcade and they basically cheese it a bit. Oh, yeah. Because normally this would cost, you know, like maybe $20, $30 to get through one session if you're putting that yeah, many quarters, you know. Yeah, it can get pretty expensive. Ah. So one really annoying thing about the original PlayStation Classico was there, there was no way of from the controller of resetting a game. You had to get up and push the reset button oh, on yeah. the console. But this, you just push select and triangle, and it will let you go back to the menu. Which they really, really should have done anyways, because a lot of those button combinations aren't necessarily used that often. Well, this is like a bad guy. Yes. Oh, no, he's getting fat. Make uh -oh. my monster grow! Oh, now we can attack him. Heads up! Uh. Oh, oh no. he died! I've been killed! There you go. What do you press? Select? You're back. You're on a good back. Yeah. yeah, select would be more credits and they would ask you to push start again in order to keep oh. playing. But. Oh. It's the big head! Ah. Incoming message from the big giant head. Ha! Ha! Oh, it's back power from you. Yes. I jumped down the hole. See, unlike the other versions, this includes cutscenes. Oh. Or at least the other versions probably have like lower res ver lower res stuff. Well, cutscene is in there was an image. There was an image, yes. <coughs> and let's face it, Miss Pac ah. had more action to it. Yeah, gotta watch it. Kick it. Kick it. Kick there you go. Punch. Mm. Kicking, punching, kick, kick, kick. Very good. Very good. Thrust, thrust. Good. There you go. Tear that shirt off. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh Snake boy. time. Mm. Snake rattle and roll. Mm -hmm. Kick his head off. There we go. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Never surrender. There we go. Oh, oh if you ever get caught like that, you can just I got I got I can kick it off of you, or you can just go with just go back and forth mm. on the D pad, oh, yeah. and it'll knock them off too. Knock it off. Ah. I guess you can kick their tails or their heads, oh, and yeah. we'll kill them. Runs away. Hmm. Oh. Oh wow. I've heard of a snake in the grass, but a snake in the, in the what is it? Swamp? Sand? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah. I think it's mostly swamp. Yeah. yeah. Here I go Ooh. again. After this, is what you can play the um. What? The, 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 the Dungeons and Dragons one. Yeah, there's a Dungeons yeah. and Dragons arcade game. A couple of them, actually. Surely, surely. We actually got pretty far. I think did we, we did. That? We did complete it. Yes, we completed. We, we it. played it because you know you just keep putting in quarters. That's, that's the one advantage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Although there was an enhanced version released only in Japan. Go get those orbs. For oh, there we go. Oh, ah, oh, that's the other orb. Anyways. Uh, there are you know, enhanced versions of both games released only for the Sega Saturn, and then those were remastered and ported over to the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. So I just have those uh -huh. available elsewhere. But of course, those you can't just put in constant credits like you can in the emulator arcade version. So you get the idea of this game. Yeah. I don't know if you want to keep playing it or probably just try really something else. Confusing. Come on, start. Ah. <laughs> Select, start. Oh. I'm trying to trying to get out of it. Oh. Maybe I do have to reset. I don't know. There we go. That's what we got. Alright, mm. so back out for closed content. I need to Oh well. Wow. It'll load something else anyways. Um have you ever seen Zero Wing? No. 
is only the Genesis version that includes a special little intro, which is quite infamous. We won't oh. probably actually play the game, because it's just a normal shoot 'em up game. But this version is so horribly translated. It's mm. hilarious. So famously horribly translated. Yes. Mm. In AD 2101, war was beginning. Hmm. Captain, what happened? <laughs> Mechanic, somebody set us up the bomb. <laughs> <laughs> Operator, we get signal. Captain, what? It's just literally translating what was original yeah. Japanese. I was like, Operator, main screen, turn on. Mm. Captain, it's you! Hmm. Cats, how are you, gentlemen? Hmm. All your base are belong to us. Ah, the famous. That's where it came from. Yeah. You are on the way to destruction. What you say? <laughs> you have no chance to survive. Make your time. Ha 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 ha! Opera. Captain! <laughs> Take off every zig! <laughs> no translation for zig? <laughs> you know what you're doing! <laughs> <laughs> Move zig! Did you say there's other uh, <coughs> translations that are, or other for things. great justice, there, this intro Systems. wasn't only in on the Genesis. Every other version oh. just went straight to the game. <coughs> okay. So Genesis was special. Yeah. It was. It right. Oh, it's start and select, not select and triangle. The other ones have select and triangle. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's that. Um, mm -hmm. Because normally, because you can see these have four ports, but yeah. since they take up too much power on one right. section. I was hoping at some point to be able to, to replace it so I could have like, you know, maybe d evenly distributed between port one and two and actually have four controllers that mm -hmm. work. Yeah. It'd be nice, but yeah. All right, what I wanted to try to see if this N64 controller would be recognized and maybe <coughs> try one of these games. Because since these don't have analog sticks, mm -hmm. anything that requires an analog stick will not work. Uh -huh. So I'll unplug that, plug this in, and, and generic the other one USB case. joystick not configured. Do you want to unplug the other one just in case? Hmm? Um, unplug yeah, my, I'm, it, it apparently will not work with this. Right, it, it at least has needs to have some kind of yeah, it doesn't recognize what this is. Okay. So. I might be able to hook it up and like manually configure each button, but that's probably more trouble than it's worth. Let's see if Super Nintendo will work. Sometimes if it recognizes what the controller mm. is, eight keys gamepad not configured. Device disconnected. Okay, it doesn't like that one either. All right, mm. fine. Uh, I guess that's a no-go. We'll just stick with the PlayStation controllers then. Mm -hmm. Alright. Okay. <clears throat> so anyways, these those games won't work because they didn't need an analog oh, stick. Yeah. And the Dreamcast games, they kinda sorta work. Like Power Stone will work with two players, but oh. I think that's about it. Maybe Mortal Kombat. I know one of them, a couple of them just outright just break the system and I have to reset the whole thing, so that's kind of annoying. So somebody took all the time to, to scan Put these the, covers. Uh, yeah, yeah, covers yeah. And yeah, everything. Yeah. And well, a lot of these come from like archive sites, so they'll be talking yeah. about the game, and they'll just have this cover art made, and somebody will just pick it up and put it in an emulator and say, yeah. yeah, so you can see what you're looking at. I mean, they had to write the program, though, to, to give you the interface and all that. Yeah. This is one of my favorite games on the oh. 32X when we first got it. Oh. Remember that? Oh, vaguely. Because the 32X would just lock up so often was the problem, so I would have like... Okay, so it looks like I got a little save data on here, so I can play that. So it has two data? players. Oh, it has internal storage in the <coughs> SD card. Oh. So I'll be... I'll be Charmy B, because Charmy B breaks the game. You pick another character. Alright. Uh, let's see. For the most part, these characters have only been in this game. Mm -hmm. 
Even though many of the Sonic games have several reoccurring characters, these did not make the cut. Not really, no. And if you play uh, uh. Uh, Sonic Heroes, there's a Team <coughs> Chaotix, which has uh, mm. Charmy B, SBO, and and uh, Vector Crocodile. Oh. And and they uh, the gameplay is very different. So this game, you can tell you're you're connected by these rings to yeah. each other, and you actually end up spending rings when you push, uh, I think, square buttons. So don't push the square button. It basically okay. brings us toward each other. All right, I gotta get past this ramp here. Uh, I gotta up, drag up, you right past right. the ramp here. <coughs> you're, you're, you're going Ready the opposite up, direction. I'm trying to go. Here we go. Okay. See, this kind of like open world kind of <laughs> areas. So that that's uh -huh. actually uh, will allow us to keep the amount of rings we have, or at least we'll make it into yeah. a giant blue ring that we can pick up if we get hit. Huh. And there's extra rings. And so basically we have to find... Yeah. Yeah. Is, That's the hard that part. Is like, worse than an AI? Um, well, I, I've, I've seen worse. Mm. The, the idea of Charmy yeah. B, though, is Charmy B pretty much breaks the game because Charmy B can fly infinitely. Uh-huh. Yeah. Like, even Tails, you know, Tails has... Tails has uh, a limit. Two oh, Tails. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah. So there's also certain areas in order to, um... Uh... They'll have silhouettes of the, of the characters, and you <laughs> stand in place in order to unlock doors. Uh-huh. So you have to basically drag each other to, uh, yeah. to certain spots. Oh, there's something up here. Oh, there's another blue ring. All right. Mm -hmm. All right, so... Don't really know where the exit is or where the objective is in this particular level, but I think each there's like six levels, each with like four or five stages that you're supposed to find chaos emeralds in, <laughs> and, and and it could be what anywhere. What is that thing? That, yeah. I don't know. Uh, it looks like decoration. There's yeah, there's uh, a bunch of them that look like decoration. Okay, there's something down here. No, here we go. End the level. Wow, clear. Seems random. Um, it has a design, and if you yeah. know exactly where things are, you can finish it pretty quickly, but... Mm. Fun fact, this is actually based on a game called Sonic Crackers. It's actually oh. an unreleased uh, beta version with Sonic and Tails demonstrating this, this link between each other with rings. Huh. And so there's like a couple of levels playable in that, but it's basically a proof of concept to say what they would end up doing with Knuckles Chaotix. So you pick the one you go to? Or? It randomly cycles around oh, it and it looks like it looks like it's just gonna take us to the next level of the same one. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Oh, it's bad video there. I mean it's supposed to have like unique sprite Ma uh, manipulation because the 32x had far more power, but of course with the combination yeah. bricks uh, to power it and the special video cables, you had to have like yeah. one connected to the Genesis, and then it would show the graphics through the 32x. But then you can't capture it otherwise, and it's just uh, such a process that yeah. I have the cartridge. It it works. Sometimes it just locks up too. It is far more convenient just to play it emulated mm -hmm. like this. I really enjoy the music. There's a sound test yeah. in the opening menu that you can actually just listen to all these chip tunes and instead of just dashing around like madmen, <laughs> trying to figure out where to go or or what to do. Although I will give it credit, a lot of other uh, uh, Sonic games, even though they have two-player support, you're pretty much you are Sonic, and Tails yeah. just flies around behind you and mm -hmm. dies over and over again because well, this forces yeah. you to work together. Kind of. Oh, ring, ring, get wow, the ring, get the ring. There oh, we go. The ring. Yeah. What's the blue thing around me? So basically, if you get to the end with 50 rings, you can get a chance to get a. That's a shield. Oh, okay. This is the 3D mode. So you can actually collect a uh, uh, blue spheres in order to get uh, a chaos emerald. Huh. Uh oh, and I can fall off the world. Uh -huh. Too bad. I mean, how oh, are you wow. supposed to be able to turn? You have to be able to turn to yeah, keep level. Yeah, like quickly, yeah. Yeah, yeah, very quickly. So that's kind of kind of ridiculous in that regard, but I'm sure it's possible. So that other area in between was if you're one player, you have to wait there, and it picks an AI partner for you. 
Maybe a different level? There we go. Uh-huh. All right. After this, it'll probably drive me. That's what I'm thinking, yeah. 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 Basically, for our Dungeons and Dragons game, although they're probably one player. No, it's two player. All right. Actually, it's up to four players, but the controllers don't support it because it doesn't provide enough power. Which is why I thought, you know, like getting an extra set of PlayStation Classic comes with two controllers. Mm. Ah, the wrong button. Fly! There we go. And a shield. Okay. Those other power-ups that actually make you big or small, so it actually has like a sprite increase or decrease. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna traverse this area a bit. Okay. Still haven't seen any one of those gates, though. Mm -hmm. But I guess that was more for the introductory levels. Oh. Also, so I haven't seen any enemies that attacked you. There's one. There's one. Okay. And you're past. Uh. But the, the idea is that the, these cartridges actually held more storage than normal Genesis cartridges as well. So they actually had bigger levels yeah. and more content to them <coughs> than the normal Genesis could hold. Oh. Hey, oh, you finally got hit by something. Okay. Uh, yeah. it's not, not something to necessarily be proud of, but you gotta... No, but it's just like... It's a thing. You went two rounds with nothing. Yeah. Pretty much. I don't know. A lot of the design in this game, too, is kind of based on, on Sonic CD. So you have like these wide open spaces that you have to find certain uh, 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 objectives. Like in Sonic CD, there was a... Uh, uh, uh oh, you're fast. Yes. Uh oh. But there's like past, present, and future versions of every level. So you have to go into the past to find an enemy generator. So if you break that, then the present and future levels are actually good versus evil. Oh. So this is another bonus feature. You ran into it, so you gotta... Yeah. What are you aiming for? Rings, uh, power-ups, bonus oh, stuff, okay. and so you just basically... Does it mean a breakthrough there? Falling down a pit. Do you want to? Um, uh, see, every second you're losing rings. Oh. So you gotta kinda be strategy yeah. Yeah. I find that one not as useful. Yeah. Or interesting as the, as the, uh, other one, but, you know. To each their own? To each their own, I suppose. Double? Mm. Yes. Ah. All right, we'll uh, we'll back out of this one. There we go. Yeah. All right, not search. Select, start. There we go. All right, back out. We're gonna go to the arcade. The main. Main, yeah, main. Here we go. And I type in dungeon. Because <clears throat> there's seven thousand five hundred games on here. Of course, you're gonna hopefully have a search feature. Dungeons, Dungeon Magic, Dungeons, Dragons, Shadow of Astraria. I think we played Shadow of Astraria. We can try Tower of Doom. The Tower of Doom. Doom. So these are all made during, like, I think, late mm -hmm. second edition, early third edition. Huh. So there's a lot of differences in terms of the uh, characters and designs of mm -hmm. different things. But I think it's been very second edition, a lot of them, because it still had, like, the requirements of you're either you're a fighter. Or you're a dwarf, oh, you're an elf. elf. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it uh, had, you know, the cycle. Don't touch. So I put, you have to push select to put in your own credits. Okay. Welcome to the. <laughs> you can just. <laughs> yeah, cleric, dwarf, elf, fighter, yeah. Uh, <coughs> I'll be a fighter. Let's see. I'll be a dwarf. In order to level up, you actually have to stay in the, uh, it's the same character, so you leave. So, uh, okay, you're, you're oh. player, two player, you're the red one, so choose. Okay. I'll be. Put my name here. Circle? Circle, okay. For circle there. Okay. There we go. And you, put, you haven't put in any letters. Old. I haven't put any letters. I thought no, circle, you have to put oh, circle. Oh, circle, okay. Yeah. A. Hey. Abba. Abba? Abba. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's fine. Abba. Yeah, it's better than nothing. And okay. circle over end. Yeah, we go. Yeah, okay. It's right right now. They wouldn't even just put an ab even. Yeah. Help us, please. You hear screams from up ahead. This one doesn't look as good as the other one, I don't think. What did you pick up? A book. Kobolds! Back when kobolds were more dog like, I think, right? Yeah. How do you pick stuff up? Circle. Oh, yeah. Circle to slash, X to crouch, triangle to throw an object. I think it's like... Um, <laughs> I'm using circle to slash, yeah. Yeah. 
Okay, okay my triangle's giving me. All right, sure. Pick up stuff. Pick up stuff, Ed. Uh, how do you pick it up? Uh, wound circle. Wounded caravan guard. Help circle us. Circle isn't you, the one. You're skipping the dialogue. Head to the monsters. Oh. Head to town. Uh, let's head to the mountains after the monsters. Sure. Sure. Why not? So you oh, get no. very limited time to pick up loot before something else happens. Yeah. So you find a cave that leads to the heart of the mountain. An ominous roar bellows, bellows from deep inside. Oh, uh, bellow. Tracks lead to the cave. Dun, dun, dun. Where else are they going to lead? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have a torch. Slice. Yeah, but the dwarf has dark vision. He doesn't care. Oh, and you threw... That's your fire. Yes. Uh, fire, yeah. Triangle throws your objects. Okay. There's a, some gold piece up there or something? Square uh, switches between whatever object you're holding. And so you have oil, too, oh, currently all there. All right. Somebody... How do you, you pick, pick it up? up? Circle. There's a little coin there. Go ahead and pick that up. Circle. Stand right above it. Okay. There you go. Yeah, yeah, stand right right left up there. Left, left. There's a ring. Yeah, pick that up, sir. Okay. There you go. Not ring of fireball. Oh, boy. There some, I think there was something else down below that you left. Yeah, one coin. There you go. There you go, okay. 111 silver pieces. <clears throat> hmm. More gold. Silver. Pick it up. All right, there you go. Maybe in the same level as that. There you go. Yeah, I couldn't get to him. Yeah, just stand right in front of him. He just sort of disappeared. Oh. Ah. Yeah, he's hey, just yeah, on hey. the edge of the screen. You can't hey, see yeah, him hey, until hey. you... Hey, all right. Health bar, there we go. Okay. Oh, oh no. Skeletons. Skelly mans. Just after Halloween, though, so. Yeah. Spooky, spooky skeleton. Pretty much. Slice and dice. Alright. One more. Not done yet. Not quite. Oh. There we go. Go! This direction. Hey, listen. Hey. Circle. Hey. There you go. Pick that up. So you press uh, square to switch between the items. This is oh, right yeah. below your name. You're currently like dagger, the ring, oh. fireball. And you press triangle to use it. So you want to make sure you use it at the right time and not when you're like, you know. Uh, so it's a throwing hammer then? Or yeah. is that a. Okay. Throwing hammer, yeah. I'll pick that one up. Open that up. Okay, good. It wasn't trapped. All right. <laughs> Brooch arrow. You have a hammer? Okay. I already got a hammer. You pick up another hammer. They're throwing hammers. So yeah, you have a it. certain stock of them, and once you use it, it's gone. So it's oh. keep moving. Well, Dad, right now you have your dagger selected, so you probably ought to switch to your what square to switch to another item if you want to. Oh, to fight? Yeah. Ring. Yeah. Ring of fireball. Yeah. Okay. Wanna... I guess it's a big guy. Sure. Ogre leader. Yeah, you probably want to burn him. Ah. Back. Back and forth. There we go. You're just switching between your items. You have to actually. Press X oh, and then no. use the item. You have to triangle, item. triangle, 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 okay. triangle. Mm -hmm. Ah, dead. Let's press start. Oh. Am I back? You're back. <laughs> you Ring a magic missile looks like. Start magic missile. Yep, I see little missiles coming out of it. You got magic missile? Or they got? Uh, I used it up. I had a ring oh. of magic missile, but now it's gone. <coughs> It's kind of like, were, were non-magic users able to do that kind of stuff back then? It seems like if you're a fighter, it's like, why would you have the opportunity to, to cast anything even with a ring or a wand, you know? I think you're able, you had the skill to ma use magic device. Yeah. At least again, in third edition, you did. Yeah. We don't have anything from second edition, so... Alright, pick up stuff. Yeah. You defeated yeah, you need a little, you step lower to, yeah. Oh, well, I couldn't pick any of this stuff. Okay, you ah. took your victory pose. Oh. And retrieve the stolen caravan goods. It was reached the 8th level and max hit points. Increased by 5. AB has reached 7th level <laughs> and max hit points increased by 5. Um. Yeah, I hope so now we can spend our silver oh. on certain objects so we can refill our health. Or. Mm, then you only have 82, so. Oil, Did I actually buy oil that? Oil Potion of healing? There we go. I have to... There we go. I have a little more health. And then you press exit if you just want to end it before the timer oh, ends up. Yeah. Just go up to... Oh, there you okay. go. Circle on that. Mm -hmm. That creature is attacking Fort Kruth. It's set to control illusions. If you take the main road, you'd be better on guard for those monsters. On the road to Derrickin City, 
the heart of the Republic. Dun, dun, dun. You leave town and head for the city of Derekin. Monsters control the main road. Prowl the main road. Prowl? Yes. I wonder if anyone's actually made this into a like a D and D normal campaign. They've taken the storyline of this and like you know you encounter an owlbear. Although I think if you're like level one, as you're probably expecting, although how we got to level eight so quickly, I don't know. But yeah, that's what he's. All right, there we go. Throw that dagger until he dies. Okay, some kind of crystals. An ox. Okay. okay, pick up the coins. Come on, pick it up. Pick, there we go. A moan from the thickets. Okay. That was the moan. Those aren't help. There! Huh? What happened here? Help us! I was part of a patrol, patrol from Fort Croft. We were heading, hunting the beast when we were attacked by it. By now, it might be attacking the village. Hurry on to Derek and City or go to Fort Cruz and try to save them by yourself. Let's go to Fort Cruz. Sure, we're, we're, why not? We're foolish. We sure are. <laughs> and you have a pocket full of quarters. Mm -hmm. <laughs> An infinite pocket full of quarters. some traps for the monsters in the fort. Be sure to watch out for them. Okay, so they're meant to attack them, but they're probably going to hit us because, you know, we don't necessarily know what a trap's going to look like. Okay, dead guy. Arrow, dagger, oh! Gnolls! Better get your knife for a gnoll. See, that's the kind of thing I would expect you oh, to say. Gnoll, yeah. knife uh, for gnoll, right? Yes. It seems like there should be two paths there. It looked like there was some stairs downward instead of just through the wall. But yeah, sometimes these games have multiple paths too. That just oh, lightning bolt. All ring right. Fire, ring. Oh, that wasted. Um, ring and lightning bolt. That was like an area attack too. Yeah. Okay. I didn't know exactly yeah. how it was going to react. But hey, he's dead now, so that's the important thing. It wasn't completely wasted. Oh, there's a coin on this. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Why should two two creatures cast but one shadow? Mm -hmm. Aim for the shadow that is where the creature truly is. Mm -hmm. Displacer beast. Even an eighth level, I think that's a little overdone. Yeah. Over, overkill, but. Uh huh. See. So you... you have to attack the real one. Yeah. Someone in the back. I have nothing now. Yeah. Go oh, ahead and axe. It says it's a dagger, but it's not. All right. Well, I'm just being. Ah, I see stars, man. Yep. Oh, have they switched places? Looks like we have switched places. At the bottom one now. Oh, yeah. Every time they jump off screen, they switch places, so it's a 50 50 chance of actually hitting them or not. But they stand so close together, you might be able to uh -huh. get away with it, man. It's usually one in the back. There's been a couple I don't times see where it's the shadow one. in the back. There's been a couple of times where it's been the one in the front, which right. is harder to tell just because you have the, the sprite of the other one standing in front of it. Yeah. Ah, oh, I'm dead again. Dead, Press start. You remember, you just got plenty of quarters in here. You just keep going. Sure. <laughs> right after this, we'll try another game. Where's the uh, health thing for the for the monster? I don't see it. Oh, the top there. Yeah, top okay. When you hit it, you can see what it is. Yeah. yeah. It's hard to tell when, when he's not even on the screen. Yeah. yeah. Like, hey, where is he? What's he doing? Oh no! Hey. And start. There we go. That was me, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Oh, okay, somehow I got the right Good thing. shot, yes. Ack, he's got me captured. 
Alright, that didn't hit. Oh well. At least when you start, you do start with a little bit of oil and dagger and stuff, so you try to hit them with something special. Oh, almost, almost! Come on, hit him, hit him! Uh, one more time! There we go. Mm. And loot the body. <laughs> you have defeated the beast and rescued the fort. Hey, that wasn't so bad. No, no foraging doing. Absolutely. Oh, As you're having dinner in the inn, a stranger comes to you and talk. My lord, Corin Linton, master of the city of Athenos, wishes to speak with you. He would have you come to meet, come to the city of Athenos to meet with him. Reach level nine. Increase by five points. Oh, eight. Yeah. Increase by five points. Hmm. Maybe I started out a level behind. Maybe. I don't know. Okay. I think that was one of those things that, yeah, dwarves are leveled slower than fighters did. Mm-hmm. But as I say, tons of games. Mm-hmm. Polymax, Gradius, Guardian, Gunsmoke, Gunforce, Sunset Riders. Oh. Yeah, Sunset Riders. Hmm. Oh, Bounce another game we played too. on a retro replay. Yeah. Life Force, Lightbringer. Some of these are a little more interesting because they're CD based. There's a lot uh, more like cutscenes and other stuff that. Uh, hmm. You mean less playing to be had? Well, just more, I guess. Modern interactivity, more graphics, you, more graphics and more, oh more bonk, more. yeah, bonk is yeah, I was just one. He's a weird one. He is a weird one. Bonk yeah. three. Go ahead. Since the turbo graphics did not do so well in mm. pretty <coughs> much anywhere, uh, mm -hmm. it most of the games have been ported over to other consoles. Hmm. Yeah, giant bulb head. Caveman Kid. King Drool the Third. Uh. Okay. Uh. Practically a Pac Man thing there. Yeah. Pong 3, Pong's Big Adventure. Hmm. Is that two players? Oh, well. Is it alternating? Alternating, yeah. Oh, alternating. Yeah. yeah. Mario Luigi style. Mm hmm. This was their version of Mario and Luigi, you know. Super Mario Bros. Oh, okay, kind of thing. Yeah. So you'd have like this headbutt attack, and uh, you just jump on stuff, and ah! And you get the big smash! Head. Yes, yes. Oh, like most children do. Ah. And there's also, I guess, like like uh, drugs in the game. I mean, at least ah. the Japanese version, they admit he's like kind of. Uh, 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 he's eating some some having some shrooms. having some shrooms. Yeah, yeah. Well, they had mushrooms in uh, Mario. <laughs> they had mushrooms in Zelda. Okay, so this is going to be a uh, bouncing off of... It was a less blatant... Oh, I can climb up. Okay, here we go. Oh. He uses his teeth. He uses his teeth and chews up on the wall, apparently, yes. Back. Spin. And attack. Does he have a spin attack? Not exactly. He just kind of just rolls forward and just slams into the ground. Any butterflies there? Assuming there's something down ah. here. Oh well, no! Possibly. Oh, it doesn't matter. Bouncy bounce. Okay. Oh, that's cute. Another life. Yeah, a little health. Well, it's health. You have like three hit points, and I guess most things mm -hmm. take up a partial part. Oh, well. mm. Yeah, you get the idea. Yeah. That guy, mm. yeah. Um, he gets a lot weirder. Yeah, it does. Hmm. Some of them don't actually fantasy. have What's covers that? to them. Like, I don't know. It's a kind of thing. This is Telnet in Japan. What was Telnet, David? Telnet was one of the many uh, <coughs> online, early online services. Mm, yeah. That's uh, Satellaview and a lot of other ones that Japan had uh, uh, mm. experimented with in terms of well, some of them that you download games to blank. Super Nintendo cartridges and stuff, mm -hmm. so you have like a blank special internet based cartridge. And some yeah, people, idea. as long as they didn't dump the ROM, then that game may have been lost forever because they were only uh, available for a limited number of, amount of time. Huh. So this one actually has a little anime cutscene. 
And some of them have English dubs that are just absolutely horrible. But hmm. our favorite. Oh yeah, yeah. And very quiet. But hey, it's surprising it is English. But, you know, whatever. It seems like yeah. it's just Japan only. But. Pan up. I mean, come on. Yeah, yeah. There's certainly something you wouldn't have expected to see in the early 90s. Yeah. Certainly far yeah. more than... Hmm. I'm not a barbarian. I'm a fighter. Start a new game. Erase existing data. Is there existing data? Clue which data? Data 1. Apparently there is no. Why would you say there's... Maybe data 2? No. Erase existing, sure. Okay. Uh -huh. I don't know if it actually loaded anything or even had any data on it or not. I don't recall ever playing it before, so. Hmm. Isn't this a fine day? Uh oh, your name is Abel? <laughs> yeah, his name's Abel. I, don't, I hope you know <laughs> a brother named Cain. Oh, hi, Van. Is that a spear? You're just happy to see me. Ha 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 ha. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, you're already out in the real world. It's oh, just walking me now. Oh. I Familiar. Well, a lot of games yeah, lot looked of like this too. Yeah. So it's like they had this top-down kind of oh, turn-based tree of death. Stuff. Great deco tree. Van, Laura. Ah, Van. This place sure brings back a lot of memories. Wait, this, you know, destroy this tree. <laughs> Sounds like the same person doing both voices. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I want to see yours forever. I'll be your wife when we grow up. Promise me. <laughs> Swear to me. Yes, they changed the color of his thing when they went back to the real life. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. I leave town for five minutes. <laughs> No, no, don't bring her to the village. No, no, try something else. Here's some fishing. Does he have no smoke from this angle? Hmm. Well, assuming it's this village, it might have been somewhere to the south. Looks like this place is fine, though. Yeah, I just, really. I just went back home. I was like, here. Yeah. Welcome, stranger. Will you stay the night? Do you want to save? Yes. Use which data slot? Please come again. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, I help you. 100 gold. Here, huh? knife, armor, shield. Yeah. Butter knife is 60 gold. Butter knife. B knife. Yes. How, 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 about, how about spear? Spear is forty gold. The spear spear. Is that why is the butter knife more powerful? How can I tempt you today? Hmm. Look at the armor. I don't even know what I have. I mean, description. It says a hundred gold there. Right? Basic fighting hunting tool. Straight off the kitchen table. <laughs> Basic protection. Uh, looks like a tunic. Basic protection. Okay, I gotta bring uh, back out of these menus and see if there's actually like an inventory. inventory. Yeah. Let's see. Sorry. Whoa, Whoa, okay. Ah. Six button mode selected. That's. Van can't use magic. Okay, stop. Stop moving like crazy. Hmm. We're just gonna back out of that because um, something I pushed. Place. Something I pushed made it, made it messed mm. up. It's like, oh, blah, blah. <laughs> oh well. Hmm. Let's see. There's something called download, or was that just a? Hmm? There's well, one of them said download, but maybe it was a different part of the, the name. Probably. Yeah. Baseball. This is actually one of the uh, at least the uh, Game Boy version was one of the first first person games on the original Game Boy. Hmm. Wow. Which was quite difficult to do at the time, obviously, with mm -hmm. limited tech. Yeah, the Shadowrun games are on here. Oh yeah, yeah mm -hmm. they've got both the Genesis and Super Nintendo versions of Shadowrun. Um, let's see. Yeah, Shadowrun for the Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're based on like I think third or fourth editions. Well, oh, Rampage. Rampage. Uh, you want the arcade version of it or? Yeah. 
That's multiplayer. Should be able to rampage. There we go. Run. <laughs> For your life. Fortunately, each of the sec search sections, you have to be searching under the console you're looking for. It uh -huh. doesn't just search all of them. Uh -huh. Okay, so I'm going to... So you can push start, I guess, or, or the jump button, the X, X button, probably oh. just to... Here you go. You're in there, too. Okay. Circle to punch. This was our childhood. Yeah. <laughs> Which system were we playing this we on? We had this on, it. yeah. It's on the my what? PlayStation 3. Well, that's a completely different version of the game, but yeah. There's like Rampage World Which Tour. Really we we had it on the Tandy. We had the cartridge of it along with uh, Robocop, oh. and uh, which you gave away. I did? You did. Oh. You gave it away. And I was like, no. man, why did you, yes, you oh. gave it away. Tandy. Now how much does it sell for Tandy? You seen by itself the Tandy is like 150, 200 bucks because oh the Tandy I gave yeah. yeah I gave the whole thing away to some kid that I worked with yeah his, his uh, grandmother actually because we had that that game and Dexter and the one that we yeah, became like Robocop. A, a Robocop yeah yeah well it, it's, it was yeah. like taking up everything room I just it was taking up a lot of space but it would have been yeah. nice to at least have it like you know. Even if we weren't having it hooked up all the time, to you, be able to... You, you, you know what's yeah. in that space now? Some paint cans. Well... That's it. That's all it's on there right now. Paint cans. Uh, and dust. It was under yeah. the stairs. Yeah. Huh? Oh, well. You gotta punch yeah. at the support to make it drop, because the faster... Oh, you know, now the, guy, oh, now the yeah. guy's gonna make it blow up, so we can just... Oh, okay. Hmm. Uh, punch you can't hit each other, yes. Yes, you can. Rah! Rah! Chicago. Been there. Wasn't that impressed. Yeah, we saw a big metal bean. Went to the barcade and played this game, actually. Yes. Mm -hmm. On free play, also. Oh, get the, yeah, get the trolley. Trolley. Punch, punch, punch. Oh, they take more than one punch. Yes. We are not Saitama from One Punch Man. Hmm. Get the thousand. Oh. I got the thousand. Huh? Well, it's a thousand. I'm not sure if it actually... I don't know. I think if you actually bring something up, yeah, you don't have to punch it again. It's just how many points it's worth. Okay. Wait, some people, Dad. Come on. You're just jumping. I'm t I was, uh, ah, I got somebody. Don't jump on that one. It's supposed to flip. There you go. Yep. Oh, yeah. There you go. All right. Get the copter. Get the copter. Yeah. Oh, you now get that guy, Dad. All right. Down, oh, push, yeah, down, push, push, push down, push down, and then, down. Uh, yeah, <coughs> there you go. You missed it. Oh, well. Yeah. Oh, well, you get the idea of this game. Yeah. It's a lot of the same stuff there. Um, turn the giant. There's also the uh, the uh, vector graphic games like Star Wars and stuff on here too. Oh, yeah? so it's like uh, those are only one player, I think. Though. Was there um tank or no? What was it? Um, hmm? What could possibly go wrong? Oh, Bubsy. Yeah, there's Bubsy games on here. Um, Genesis, I think, if I search for. Actually, since it's so high on the list, I should probably just be able to. Bubsy's a really terrible game, especially once you got to 3D. But. <laughs> see, his, his catchphrase is what could possibly go wrong? Mm -hmm. oh, I yeah. have frequently, accidentally thought that it was what could possibly. What's, what's the, the worst, worst that could happen? happen? It's like, no. Because what's the worst that could happen is what you more think of. As a phrase, as opposed to what could possibly go wrong, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. There's Bob. And Baby's Day Out, Back to the Future, Barbie, Barbie Supermodel, Barbie Vacation, Bassmaster, Batman: Revenge of the Joker, Forever, Later, Battle Toads, Best mm. of the Best, Berenstain Bears. Oh, no. Bible Adventures. 
Uh-huh. Oh, is there the Bible shooter in this one? Noah's 3D Noah's Ark, yeah. The... Super Noah's 3D Ark. It's no, the, oh, uh, yeah, there we go. All that. Uh, yeah, Super Nintendo version. Okay, so we want to look up Noah. Noah. Start. There we go. Super Noah's 3D Ark. Hmm. This was picked up by company Wisdom Tree. Basically bought the rights to the uh, Wolfenstein 3D engine and redid all the graphics uh. and made it into a uh, bootleg cartridge because they didn't have the official one. So you'd actually have to plug in a legitimate Super Nintendo yeah. cartridge above it in order to make it work. Uh. And it had mouse support too. Huh. You'll be out of the ark in six days, Noah. Unfortunately, the animals are a tad bit restless and want to get out now. Good thing you brought all that food with you. You need to put it to the busy ones to sleep. At the end of the first day, be prepared to deal with Carl the camel. He's been really cranky lately and he's a bit out of control. Good luck. Be careful. <laughs> oh gosh, it is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, clever. Yeah, this, this is a. Yeah. How cute. And instead of killing the animals, you're putting them to sleep. Put them to sleep, huh? You're making them you sleep, just, not yeah. putting them to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> putting them to sleep would be killing them. That's true. Hmm. There's actually an updated uh, PC version of this game, too, with mm -hmm. obviously better graphics than the Super Nintendo could provide. Heck. Oh, right. yeah. hmm. No, his face doesn't change when he loses health like he did with Duke hmm. Nukem. Yeah. Oh, well. Mm. That's that. That of course, was that. A lot of, uh, since that Super 3D Noah's Ark, it basically gets into the section of... Oh, Sunset Riders! Sunset Riders! Hmm. For, not sure which version. I think they played the Super Nintendo version, but... Alright. It's a two-player. It is two-player. Oh. Made by Konami, which people do not like that company anymore, but when they make good games, they make good games. Hmm. What's wrong with them now? They mistreat their employees, they add mm. microtransactions to pretty much every single game, and mm. a lot of the classic uh, uh, games that people have anticipated new versions of, they made them into pachinko and, arc and pinball machines. Mm. Instead of actual games that people want to play, they mm. take the license and, and, and they, they see it as a cash grab and not uh, Steve. <laughs> hmm. Sunset Rider. Sunset Riders. So now, Steve or Billy? Or Bob? Or Carmano? Mm. I'll be Bob. That's your Billy Bob. And yeah, Billy Bob. Mm. It'll be Carmano. Simon Greedwell. Dead or alive? <laughs> Simon. Simon? No. I think Simon would end with E, wouldn't it? Yeah. Okay, so they. Oh! They got me. Okay. You paused. Oh. Is that what you do? Yeah. Mm. Okay. Jumping. Doesn't seem to necessarily work too well off of this. I can't get across. Why can't I get across? Oh, well, now I finally got to figure out how to get across. There we go. I push up. Square fires, X jumps. Yeah, I think they probably played the Genesis version. That didn't look like this, the one that they played. Pretty mm. sure. Okay. But oh well. It's on here too, if you really want to. Mm. You, you keep pausing. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, the chickens. Two chickens, oh no! Yeah. Whoa! Stampede! You had to jump on top of the stampede. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> and you went away with the stampede. Press turning at that. Or I guess you're. Are you out of lives? I think you're out of lives. Yeah. There you are. Where are you? No. Yeah. Uh, Back. There we go. Jump with the dynamite. Throw it. Uh, we'll blow her up. Or blow me up. That's fine too. I mean, I was right there. <laughs> you didn't know how far he would throw. Ah, I tried to pick it up again and it just blew me up again. <laughs> Terrible! Okay. Dual building shotguns. I like yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, now you're just here. Oh boy. We're ready to jump. Careful. 
X to jump. How do you jump? X. X. There we go. Oh no. Yeah, run, run across. I don't know how this is even possible. <laughs> there we go. Oh no, there's one more. Game over. Now you actually run out of lives. There's no more coming back for you. Ah. Oh well. Mm -hmm. I got that. That's it. But this since the Super Nintendo so had hard. It, yes. <laughs> the Super Nintendo had so many games that started with Super. Like this list yeah. is like the most ridiculous part Super of it. Super did you do Super for... Back to the Future Part Two. I'm pretty sure this was the Japanese only one. Hmm. That was the only good oh. uh Back to the Future game. Really? Rockstar Sonic. What game was that? Game is that? That was uh, Sunset Riders. We were just playing on the Super Nintendo, and now this is uh, Back to the Future, Super Back to the Future Two. So this was a Japanese-only release. That uh, hmm it was actually a pretty good version of the game, apparently. Hmm. And since it didn't require a whole lot of language, uh -huh. at least you know, there wasn't much of a language barrier. Yeah, that was swearing, you know. Was no, just, no, I mean, yeah. like, Japanese-wise, yeah. a lot of import games were just like, you know, I don't know what the menus are, but this is all in English, so I was like, great. Oh, Jennifer, you're a sight for sore eyes. That was Marty. Oh, Sorry. Jennifer, you're a sight for sore eyes. <laughs> oh, Marty, you gotta come back with me. Where? Come back in a minute, Doc. What happens in the future? It's not about you, it's just the kids, Marty. Try to, to, to turn yeah. Rick and Morty kind of like, uh, Morty, Marty. Morty. That's been, that was what Rick and Morty started out as, as a parody of Doc and Marty. Oh, really? Yes. Oh. But of course, they couldn't continue on with that just because oh. copyright. Hmm. So yeah, the Super Nintendo version of the, the Back to the Future theme. Hmm. Password. Right. Right. Open. Right. Oh. Oh. Hmm. So this yeah, game. Four viewer, viewers watching. Hello. You're on the hover bike. <laughs> oh, hover hoverboard. 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 Yeah, hoverboard. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah, so it looks a lot like uh, just, just a regular old Mario. Or, um, yeah, that kind of thing. Yeah. But the other ones were made by a company called LJN, which Mario. is known for, notoriously known for, the worst yeah. of all games ever made. Like, they, they <laughs> bought licenses for every uh, uh, famous property throughout the 80s and 90s and made games on just about everything that was available for them. Game Boy, Genesis, Nintendo, Super Nintendo. Mm -hmm. And if you saw the LJN Rainbow, you knew you were, have, you were in for a mm -hmm. bad time. You're gonna have a bad time. <laughs> You're gonna have a bad time. Mm -hmm. But this was made in Japan by people who actually cared about the Back to the uh -huh. Future franchise. So it's not uh, bad. I'm just not good at playing out, it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Those old games are pretty hard to play. They really. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. But you get the point of that one. <clears throat> so there's that. Actually, yeah. There's... I used to look more like Sonic, I guess. A let's slow, get a little, let's a get a little version of Sonic. Let's get a little Virtual Boy in here. How about that? We'll play a little... Uh, well, eye pain, yeah. What was Nico thing there? Nico? That's a... Uh, uh, Nico-chan. I think... Pac-Man kind of clone? I don't know recall. It was one of the few Japanese only versions, so. Hmm. And we've lost all our viewers. Oh well. Yeah. Oh my gosh, they ran away in virtual boy, drove them away! Anyway. Possibly. Right, now it's just my other account. Oh well. Auto pause? Yeah, so I have a feature after like half an hour or so oh. to encourage you to put your eyes away from the yeah. blaring red light. One thing, n nice new thing in the. Um, mm. Uh, Luigi's Mansion 3 because in the previous Luigi's Mansion games they would have like the Game Boy Horror instead of the yeah. Game Boy Color and they had the uh, the the s dual scare instead of the oh. DS because they have the 3DS in the new version they have the virtual boo and they actually oh. have him holding up a virtual boy to his face oh. in order to contact and all the menus are in red and it's like oh, it's just... uh -huh. okay so this, this, I guess the face ball yeah so this is like uh, uh, first person, thing. first person Pac Man, yeah. Huh. You guys, you shoot the ghosts or what? I guess you have something you can shoot with, but. Uh, fire, I'm shooting fire. you. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out which is the fire button. I hit something. There we go, I hit it. Shot me. It looks like the walls are changing. Hits. Yeah. Oh, you're clear the stage. Uh, apparently, 
I killed all the enemies, so. Hmm. Oh, well. Yeah, play that. Um, mm -hmm. Did we? Did we? Sure you did. Red, Red Alarm, Alarm is one of the more uh, infamous ones. It's kind of like a prototype to what uh, Star Fox could have been hmm. on the Virtual Boy. Actually, I have the cartridge for it, so. Uh -huh. But it's like, fortunately, the Virtual Boy is also region free, so you can buy Japanese cartridges dirt cheap uh -huh. and still play it and basically be playing the same game without any. Which is the way it should be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a vector graphic game. Yes. Without vector graphics. <laughs> that looks like it'd be very uh, disconcerting. Trying to watch it in 3D. Yes, yeah, disorienting too. So mm -hmm. it actually is a pretty <laughs> effective 3D effect. Yeah. But in terms of the, the the blaring red lights and the LEDs yeah. and stuff, it's just after a few minutes of like, my I'm going to go blind if I stare at this much longer. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but that's what emulation is for. So mm -hmm. you can enjoy a game without having to hurt yourself. Mm -hmm. Or have faulty hardware, because a lot of Virtual Boys you don't even work anymore. People drop them or, oh, or yeah. mess with them otherwise. It's like, okay, so yeah. Mm -hmm. Speed up here. Fire my weapons. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure you're sure if ours is still 100 foot. Like, yeah, there's like a couple of like uh, 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 pixel lines or something going on with mm -hmm. it. They can, you can still play, but it kind of looks yeah. messed up a bit. Yeah, I think it's fallen a couple times. It has. Yeah. I think we have a little shelf. Okay, screw it to the wall. Screw it to the wall? Yeah. yeah. It is functional for its purpose. Mm -hmm. You actually have a certain amount of fuel? Yeah. Oh, the which you're going through very quickly. Yes, my score. And obviously, however much you keep at the end of the level, if you manage to complete the goal, gets you more points. So, I need to find out. Sure, it's not. not um, Firing power rather than fuel? No, no. Yeah, it was, fuel is constantly going down. Yeah, so that's worried. my way of figuring it. So let's try, let's try a PlayStation game because, hey, PlayStation, right? Let's do a Crash Team Racing. Okay, takes a little mm. longer to load. You gotta spin that CD. Of course, this game was recently re-released as uh, Nitro Fuel, so you can get it on newer consoles and stuff. But of course, after the game released, the company that made it decided to add microtransaction, bonus characters, and other things mm -hmm. that was not reflected in the original reviews. So the original reviews are like, well, this is great. It doesn't have all these features that a lot of newer games have that mm -hmm. make it really, you know, predatory kind of thing, practically, in terms of... Yeah. Okay, so load. Well, not adventure. Back out. Versus. Single. Two player. Mm. And I hadn't typed in the codes on this one to unlock all the bonus characters, but you can just do Coco Park. Three laps. So you're describing. Hmm? Oh, yeah. You're describing the... Oh, yeah, the, the fact that the re-release has basically uh, disrespected the fans. So X to... Yeah. By uh, adding all kinds of features that were not in the original uh, review releases, so aren't reflected by. Uh, circle? Yeah, yeah. <coughs> ah, I got blown up. Yeah. Ah. You're supposed to avoid this. Yeah. I mean, you don't have a set number of hit points or anything like that, but it does slow you down, so. Yeah. Yeah. I always lose anyway, so don't worry about it. Shooting and dead. Oh, yeah. Of course, if this were to support four player, we could do four player split screen on this one, which was a lot of fun when we had the original PlayStation and we would mm. have the multi tap and do four player on oh, every yeah. one of these races. A lot of people were like, well, we didn't have yeah. the N64s, so we didn't have Mario Kart 64, but we did have this game and we, you know, 
This is a good al yeah. This is a good alternative. That's Mario Kart. No, I mean eventually we got it from from Jason Parker, but uh, at the time, like the this late '90s, the this was this was our our version. Yeah. We had terrible mm -hmm. childhood. No, I mean we went from NES to Genesis to PlayStation to PS2, and then kind of caught back up on Nintendo stuff with GameCube and. Mm. N64. N64 and stuff, yeah. yeah. Eventually right. got a Super Nintendo, but never got into the Turbo Graphics stuff. Wanted to, but it's kind of like the, the. It's far too expensive nowadays, and, and the games are readily available elsewhere, legally and otherwise. Mm -hmm. Still miss that dandy. Hey, at least you're on the third lap! Uh, you did get to the third <laughs> lap! Normally it's like first or second lap, and it's like, it's uh, waiting until you're done, or whatever. Yeah, first, Next to keep on going there. Hey, good idea that one. So at least yeah. it's a, a PlayStation game on the PlayStation Classic. So. Mm -hmm. You could say it like Major Nerd does. Hmm? I, yeah, okay, you get the idea. You get the point. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He never says you get the point. I don't know. So, there's also. Like, the problem with the PSP, though, is it has like a flat little analog stick that some games require <clears throat> and so you just can't move like a little big planet yeah like a little big planet and stuff and you can't do anything fantasy in star portable yeah so one of those uh i think i might have that uh you have like the gamecube fantasy star online oh, I know. which mm. actually has a uh, it's advanced dnd oh yeah sure yeah eye of the beholder family rg okay on the sega cd sega See that's like, there? He doesn't look a thing like Hedgehog. A real Hedgehog. No. <laughs> they took totally different. Well, <laughs> if you were to have a scientifically accurate Hedgehog, it wouldn't be It able wouldn't to do work. It. No, it wouldn't. <laughs> no. So why they call him Hedgehog? Why did they call him Spider? I the Beholder, a legend series, Fantasy Role Playing Saga, Volume 1. Start a new party. Or I could start a default party because they're probably going to ask me to go through the process of randomly rolling new characters. That's probably not going to be that fun. Waterdeep! Yes. There's always a great evil in Waterdeep. I mean, what else are you going to do? Mm -hmm. Well, they ought to close that hole up. They found a solution. Oh. Glad they showed the whole walk cycle there. Hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. We commission you to find the nature of this evil and destroy it if you are able. <laughs> you could just refuse the quest and then end the game, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, it must be a magic user. Mm hmm. Spellbook. Oh. Another sword. A bigger sword. <laughs> there was a dagger. Yeah, dagger. There was a thief. Dagger. Prayer. Prayer. Yeah. Yeah. And show them walking back out. <laughs> Our arms are very emotionful. We've only got three pixels for a foot. <laughs> yeah. They could do far more detail than that, even on the Sega CD if they wanted to, but I was going to zoom so far out, and it's like, far out, dude. <clears throat> mm -hmm. that, is that like Hector? Yeah, man, I'm like, totally yeah, dude, Hector. <laughs> and it caves in behind you. Not going back, you can't quit. Your faith is sealed. Yeah, pretty much. Hmm. And it looks like this is one of the games that would actually use the um, the Genesis mouse. Because I actually oh. have the uh, Genesis mouse. And the Super Nintendo mouse as well. So hmm. the box, the character you wish to view. Select race. Oh my. Elf, half elf, dwarf, gnome, halfling. Halfling female. Halfling female? Uh, yeah. Okay. Select class. 
halfling thief. What else is that halfling gonna be? Mm. Uh, say, uh, probably true Chaotic neutral. neutral. Chaotic neutral. Ah, yeah, true neutral. True neutral. Yeah. All right, so that's a uh, okay stats, I guess, but. Uh, yeah. Hmm. I say I have to choose a, a picture for her. That makes and sense, just yeah. Just modify, keep, reroll. Keep. 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 Okay. Name. Hey. Hey. <laughs> and. Okay. Select race. Uh. Gonna be all ladies or no? Just like dwarf guy, dwarf male. Sure, why not? We'll have uh, him be a uh, fighter cleric. Yeah, yeah maybe just a cleric. Something that can heal. Okay. Yeah, he'll be he'll be lawful good. Awful good. And he'll be something. <coughs> we'll do that. Mm -hmm. uh, that oh, we roll that. We need a higher strength. I forget. Would they be wisdom? 14, 12, 17. That's not bad. AC no, 7, though. Bad. No, no. Mm. Keep going. 8. Unless this is a second, so lower may be better. Oh, that's true, yeah. Well, I mean, I know we want high strength, right? I mean... Yeah, well... 16, and uh, 14, wisdom, I presume. 14, yeah, 14, 15. There. That's good, yeah. All right, keep it. Sure. I mean, most of these guys are probably going to die anyway, so... B, 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 Do a gnome? No, a human male. Human male. But have him just be a good old fashioned fighter. Is that uh, a paladin? Neutral good. Nah. Um. Fighter with a hood? Face. Different face. Like, different face. Um, you use arrows there, they never There you go. Go with the helmet. Yeah, it looks like a. <laughs> it looks like a dwarf. Yeah, whatever. We'll go with it. Reroll. Um, 18 constitution. Hmm. Not good strength. Uh, 15. Oh, oh terrible goodness. constitution there. Yeah, no, 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 good either. 17? Oh, 17, God. 17? That's, that's constitution 11, though. Yeah, yeah. Keep it. Alright. C, 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 C. C, 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 C. C, C, senor. Indeed. And we'll go with that elf this time. Elf, female? Elf, female, sure. Alright, wizard. Wizard? Mage, I mean, yeah. Or mage, yeah. She'll be... Chaotic good. Throw an evil one in there, how about that? Lawful uh, evil. Yeah. Alright, we'll choose, uh, you yeah, know, that face. That looks good. Uh, so you want... Good intelligence. Good intelligence, yeah. Is that good enough? That's really good intelligence. It's about yeah. 17, I think. So Alright, awesome. keep it. Uh, D, 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 D. Hey, mm -hmm. you saw what I was doing there. Yes. Your party is complete. Sec play. Yeah, games that have their own saves mm -hmm. will keep the saves as long as you can, like, oh, yeah. uh, uh, have an opportunity to save. Rock, take it. All right, give it to, I guess, I guess put it in someone's inventory there. Oh. Uh, back out of the menu. So this would make far more sense if you had the mouse to click, because it's basically a uh, port of the PC version of some of these adventure games. Mm -hmm. Lockpicks taken. Okay, who should have the lockpicks? Uh, we didn't have a thief, did we? No, we oh, didn't. No. Oh, well, we carry. Ah, something's hanging. Alright. Act, turn around. There we go. Attack. Cool balls. Attack. How do you attack? <coughs> You can't go that way. I I'm trying to figure out how to attack. Eric. Short sword taken. I'm like, attack! That's food. rough thing. That's food. Come on, attack it! Did I just push forward? No, I just can't go that way. Um, there we go. Just no. use their ability, I guess. Oh well. That's kind of annoying. Figured it'd be like, you mm -hmm. know, have some sort of turn based thing to say, you know, hey, something attacks you mm -hmm. rather than real time, because that's not how DD &D works. 
Yeah. Even the other D and D games have like a uh, if they have like a first person like kind of mode. Based. Yeah, I have turn based. Yeah. So like the ones that was Eye Beholder on the. Uh, uh, I think um. Ah, back out of the menu. There we go. Hit it. Hit it. Can't reach. Yeah, All right. Use. I don't know. Holy symbol. No, use a spell. Use use the thing. Yeah. Can't reach. Can't reach. Y use the thing. Shouldn't have any spell slots even. Oh, well, that's not good. Yeah, right. How do you select the spell? I don't know. Let's move on. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll get the point of that. Dragon's Lair. That probably won't last very long. Oh. Yeah, I haven't seen that in a long time. Okay. No, there was also no. multiple versions. There was this Genesis Super Nintendo version that was a side-scrolling platformer. Oh, um, really? Yes. It was not good. It was, it was not good. But this is a port of the actual <laughs> Laserdisc version. Uh -huh. So it has scan lines and everything because it has to be horribly compressed to fit on the uh, Sega oh, CD. Yeah. Horribly compressed. Yes. There were obviously better versions released later on PlayStation 3DO and stuff. Systems that could actually yeah. handle full motion video better than this. This is more just I'd dithering, it's not right? bad. I mean, it's dithering, yeah. Yeah. So you have to know which buttons to press at the right times as well, so... Mm -hmm. It's like, I can swing, and then I know how to pull. Normally it's supposed to, like, yeah. flash as well when you're supposed to do something. <coughs> up, up, up. And for some reason I'm pushing up, or at least trying to figure yeah. out how to get, like, forward to get, like, away from this, and it won't do anything. It's like, mm -hmm. I'm not really sure... I know I'm supposed to slide, and then some other action? I, I have no idea. I, I can't get any further than that. Mm. There's a... Uh... Night Trap. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that was one of the first out. games we had. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Pop Full Mail was actually supposed to be when they uh, were bringing it to America. They wanted to make it as a uh, Sonic spinoff where you play as oh. Amy, but a lot of the people said it, it wasn't originally a Sonic spinoff. Do not change the game, huh. and so it was released to very small numbers. And it's mm. actually a, a very rare, one of the rarest well, Sega see. CD games. Huh. <coughs> it's another mm. side-scrolling platformer that's stuff. Yeah. And... So how are those, John? They're black cherry. They're what? Black the cherry. Black cherry. Oh, black cherry, yeah. Okay. Do they seem to calm your throat. Have you heard my coffee much? No. Well. Okay. Well, it's easier for him not to cough when he's not talking as much either. So. I did too. Oh, my old magical fat signature. I'm not exerting myself either. Hmm. I want a baconator. You don't need a baconator. Okay, I don't know if there's any more to that, but it just seems like a long scrolling thing of maybe there's an intro there, but mm -hmm. Pop Fool. I'm Sunny G. Sup guys. Hello! Hello, welcome to the stream. Mm -hmm. Ram cart detected. Use it to save hello games. Yes. Internal backup RAM will be saved. Share the cop drops now. Mm. Uh they're Zero Lear? Zalir? X Lear? X Lear. They uh, use xylitol instead of sugar. Mm -hmm. I want anime cutscenes. Cookie face? <laughs> Because, you know, games and blood back then, you know, it's like, oh, oh, oh. Hmm. 
Yeah, I really don't see this as being converted into a, a, a Amy spinoff game. And yeah. how, you know? Yeah. It's chicken. <laughs> Have a laxative effect. Uh -huh. I hope not. Oh. He just cut off his own head. Yeah, I it. Uh. Is it a robot? I his head blew up. <laughs> Because I don't know how don't, normally these cutscenes don't last yeah. as long as those. I don't know. But it's really interesting. Yeah. It's different, yes. Yeah, yeah. Did that say Trader Joe's? I think something along those lines. Mm -hmm. yeah. Cat, that's a too high level for us. Yep. Move it, coming through, step aside. Hmm. With a capture of the notorious magician Muddyhead, a reward is offered in the sum of two million gold. Woohoo! This is my lucky day! I'm gonna be rich! For our uh, Springfield group, DD group, uh, we, you know, we were playing the adventure and mm -hmm. and uh, came across a wanted a board, a notice board. Notice uh, board, yeah. Yeah. Oh. And that's where one of the on running gags we had that every time we looked at it, we would see uh, uh, a mm. missing cat post. <laughs> and like, oh, that's uh. probably too high level for us. We can't do that yet. <laughs> <laughs> and so eventually, was like, you know what? Sure, yeah, it is, it is too high level yeah, for you. You kill creatures and get money for them. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> 420. Hey, Gold. hey, you, help! Listen. Hey, you. Help. Huh? A man in need? Dunderhead. Huh? Oh. What in the world are you doing up there? Well, there were all these monsters chasing me. Uh, there must have been a hundred of them, and, and they had bulging eyes and, and huge teeth, and, and then they chased me up this tree, and, and, and then the spider dropped down. He almost killed me, but I cut his thread. I have a pocket knife now, and then, and then, well, I don't think it's safe to come down. <laughs> oh, uh, by the way, I'm Slick. Well, actually, Slick Jr. the third. I'm from the village at the bottom of the jungle. Say, uh, can you give me some help here? Like, today? Well, Slick, why'd you leave your village in the first place? Hey, I was just looking for a little fun and adventure. But I guess my pocket knife just doesn't cut it out here. No. Say, Might as well have a butter knife, like the last game. The other game. <laughs> why else would you have such a huge... Hmm. 
She's not gonna help him? Uh, apparently not. Wait, okay, that was a raccoon. What's that, though? Uh, a mage of some kind? I don't know. But. Looks like there's a way to jumping over here to maybe yeah. reach him. Here. There we go. Hmm. Can't interact, apparently? No. What was the item thing? Does it oh, it's just a menu to use items and save. Is it legal to get the high in your state? Because the dude on the red. Hmm. In the so red, yeah. looks high as a. Yeah. Nah, I just well, I mean, I did take some Nyquil earlier, so. An apple was found. Not high. I'm just tired. Mm -hmm. oh, oh. Maybe if I push up next to him, it might interact. Nope. Okay. Come on, please. You just gotta take me with you. Hey, I'll even pay you, Miss. Miss. Uh. Mail. Popful mail. Pop full mail. Yep. A little too busy, and you sound like a lot of trouble. If I did consider taking you with me, it cost you like two million. <laughs> two million? Are we talking gold here? Who do you think I am? Slicky Warbucks? Can't afford me? Hmm. Tough break, kiddo. <sighs> Listen. If you're not going to take me with you, and by the way, I think that's a big mistake, could you please tell the villagers where I am? It's the least you can do. Oh, all right. Whiner. <laughs> you know, I went through all the stuff for actually climbing up here just to talk with you like that. I guess there's nothing else up here. Oh, <laughs> there is fall damage. Okay, keep going with that. Alright. Oh, is there a save menu then? Yeah. Oh, okay. Ah, <clears throat> uh, okay. Uh, something recharged my health. Huh? Oh, I, I ran out of health there, and something. Yeah. I don't know if I use a, a life or a life. So, yeah, something. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. I'm uh, not in pain. I just a bit sick. So and it's evening. So. I, I don't need to get high. Okay, so let's let's actually try to see if we can save here. Unless that didn't actually do it. Square? Square, there we go. Select for save slot. Alright. Mm -hmm. So now I should have it saved, so I can go back out of it. Hmm. And try As if you're going to return to that. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it might. Secret to Monkey Island. Oh, yes. This oh, my God. Classic there. Yeah. So this Sophie you had that one before, Sonic C D. This one has been ported and remade several times. But this is the uh, original Sega C D release. Hmm. So it had a nice anime cutscene in front of it. This is one I was telling you earlier that was past, oh. present, future, and you actually yeah. have like this is actually made in between Sonic one and two. Technically the second Sonic game, but since there's a different mm -hmm. team that made it. I don't know if there's RAM data for this one or not. Hmm. Probably not. Nope. Okay. So. Hmm. Exit. Uh, so anyone would like to introduce ourselves. To mm -hmm. be honest, we didn't put our names up there. No. Hi, I'm John. I am David. And we are brothers. We are brothers. Man. And old man Leonard. <laughs> our father. <laughs> yes. We are just playing a variety of different games here. What, no cutscene? No. Oh, no. Palm Tree. Yeah, this is Palm Tree Panic. Basically, the Green Hill Zone of... Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, it's three-dimensional. Sort of. A little bit of a twist and turn there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, there's these posts here that, uh, at least not that particular one, that's a continue post. So if I die there, I don't think you've gotten enough. Here we go. Okay. If you get enough momentum, you go into the past version of the level, which oh. normally takes a really long time to load. There's actually newer versions of the oh. Sega CD, like the one I had, the JVCXI, because yeah. the original version was a 2x drive. The later versions had yeah. a 4x drive, and was actually able to load certain games faster huh. just by having the more recent version of the, uh, <clears throat> the hardware. Mm -hmm. 
So now in this level, I have to find the uh, enemy generator. Huh? And if I can do that, I can actually make the following levels easier. So like the future right now would be a bad future. But this is like before all of the enemies show up. So as long as I'm able to find or at least a significant amount of enemies. Obviously there are a few around here. But. So what's this enemy generator look like? Um, Except you jumped out. I jumped out. I didn't actually bother to find it. But I think I can find it through there's like three zones per act. So yeah. if I find it in any one of them, I should be able to get the good ending. Hmm. So yeah, uh, we normally play Dungeons and Dragons on this channel. We play other games like the Sonic Adventures game. Uh, we've done on tabletop Shatter role playing. Run. Yeah, Shadow Run. Uh, we're trying to develop our own role playing hmm. game, Children of the Gods. We have the YouTube yeah. channel, Letter Brothers game. Hmm. Think you walk on water. Barely. He loses rings when he does it. Oh. So let's not do that. Ah. Hmm. I have to break all these UFOs in order to get the oh. uh, time crystal. Hmm. So you're actually looking for uh, chaos emeralds in this game, it's time crystals. Yeah. But we're sure on players. As mm. tonight we only have three. Uh, we don't always play an RPG when we have four. But we only have three players. Uh, we play video games. Hmm. Oh, didn't get it all. Hmm. Not a problem. Hmm. Yeah, apologize for accusing me of being high in front of my dad. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well. So we're still in the past right now, so maybe in this zone. Why don't you tell you in the past? Uh, because it's like lighter and upbeat and 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 oh. things aren't ruined yet yeah yeah if you go to the present or the future there's way more enemies especially in the future it's like run down and dilapidated because you get the bad future but if you find the thing in the past you can actually make it a, a good future and everything's mm. all nice and peaceful hunky dory yeah you have to do it in like every level oh apparently this one's already broken this is what one of the machines looks like so that's I guess, it uh, yeah oh So I just happened to break it right there. So great. So now if I go into the future. So how do you get back to the future? Back to the future. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, uh -huh. I have to g g gain enough momentum. So like if I'm near one of those signs, and I can uh, mm. trigger it to. You can get to 88 miles per hour. Pretty much, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah pretty fast, yeah. Usually through a loop de loop or spanning or something else, and I probably have to do it with the uh, next level. Hmm. Actually, I think the third level is always the uh, the future one, so. Oh, yeah. This is in the PS Classic? Uh, technically, no. We are using the PS Classic, uh, the, the hardware, in order to play the game, but rather, Dave, explain. The software has been hacked to allow for emulation of various consoles. So you can basically, they, people put. Sega CD, Genesis, 32X, all kinds of different consoles, running games. And you can put, uh, they either sell the USB card, at, uh, the USB, yeah, the so USB stick the itself. This is the present, yeah. Or the future. Apparently I didn't break all of them, there are multiple ones, so this is still the bad future. Is that legal? David? Um, if you have the original copies of the game, I would say it is, but it also depends on, uh, a lot of people just don't have the ability to play those kind of things anymore. That went down quite a way. Yeah, a lot of these bosses are like, you know, mini bosses. So, like, they're, they're like. A lot of the bosses, actually, in general, in Sonic CD are a little easier. So, I actually have the Sonic Gems collection, which is in and of itself an emulation partially of this. I have this game on the PC, I have it on other consoles. So, it's like. You purchased it. One who you bought the memory sticks from? Uh, there's, there's memory sticks, those that just have the PlayStation ones, they're True Blue Minis. This is not one of those. But, um. Ah, you died. Yeah, I was supposed to wait there, actually, I think. This, was, yeah. this is a cutscene. This is actually the first game that introduces Amy Rose. Oh. Yes. There we go. I have a shield, and I wait over here, and she just kind of gets a little clingy, and like, oh, look, it's Sonic, I'm in love with Sonic, and then Metal Sonic comes in and takes her away. <laughs> Oh, 
Everybody down, this is a bust. <laughs> there are a lot of people that use emulation, even when they own the actual games, just to have an easier way of capturing footage for it, or a better way of playing it. And more reliable. More reliable way. Yeah. More reliable way out through cartridge. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or the hardware for it. Like, we actually own a uh, 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 32X. And it will Sega. just randomly crash. And so I play the games emulated because I want to be able to play them reliably. I have the actual cartridge of Knuckles Chaotix down, downstairs, and I can't reliably play it uh, on the original hardware, so... So obviously out of the 7,500 games on here, obviously I don't legitimately own every single one of them. I don't even necessarily want to play every single one of them. A lot of people treat this kind of thing as if I really like the game, I will find it, in, in at least for a reasonable price. And even then, a lot of these games, uh, the original developers aren't seeing that money. There's no legal way of buying a lot of these games. Anyways, like Popful Mail, if you want to buy a legitimate copy of that game, it's at least two to $300 to find an actual original Sega CD copy of that game. And the original developers aren't seeing a penny of it. And they're not reselling it anywhere else. It's one of those games that's basically never been re-released on anything. So what other recourse are you going to have to want to play the game if you can't afford to, to buy it and you're not supporting the originals? Yeah. Yeah. For a game like this, it has been re-released and resold several times. So playing this emulated version of it, even though I have other versions, but you get the idea. Oh, yeah. is that mm -hmm. idea had? Idea had indeed. It was like Wing Commander it has a bunch of cutscenes in there too and stuff. And you consider it as like a sampler. You find yeah. a game you like, you you look for it in real life. You know how many versions of Doom are there? There's tons yeah, right. of. You own one of them, do you necessarily have to own the rights to every single version? It's like, do I have the 32X version? No, but I have the PC version. I've got like the other versions. It's like. Lots of games. I have a bunch of these. I have I have the. Um, used to have Primal Rage. Uh, I've got Star Wars and Star Trek Academy. I've got the original cartridges, but even this one, Virtual Hamster, is actually a. Uh, Virtual Hamster. Virtual Hamster, yes. Is actually a, a homebrew prototype cartridge. Huh. So you can't legally buy this game. Uh -huh. You have to emulate it. It was never officially sold. Mm -hmm. So what do you say to that? Is that? How can you otherwise play the game? You literally cannot buy it. Uh -huh. Unless someone puts it on their own reproduction cartridge and sells it to you, which it's not their game. They don't, you know. Well, if the author was doing it for their themselves, they may not intend to sell it. Yeah, yeah. And they let it out in the wild. Wild <laughs> game. Dur, 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 mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's see if there's any more. Because legally, I can't be playing any of these Turbo Graphics games because I don't actually own any of them. There's a couple I actually have bought through the Wii Virtual Console, so I have some of them emulated anyways that were legally sold. But then that got shut down. Oh yeah. So, like, tons of games that were, for a while, available mm -hmm. to legally purchase and play. And even the original developers would still get the money because Nintendo licensed it yeah. from PC Engine to NEC, you know, in order mm -hmm. to sell it on their store. Then they shut down the store. You can't buy it anymore. Mm -hmm. You can't re-download it even if you did. So you have to keep a, you know, downloaded copy somewhere. Otherwise, you'd lose it forever. The original Battle Royale there? Uh, there's a lot of games there, I think, are called... Battle Royale. It's just that's a wrestling game, it looks like. Um. Oh. Oh well. And a lot of people don't even own arcade games. We have a few actual mm -hmm. arcade boards. Let's Pretty see if, if uh, uh, Triple oh. Punch. Triple. Yeah. No. Triple screen. That is just the first time we saw Triple on there. Okay. Uh, it probably... I don't know if I can do like multiple search or maybe just start. No. Okay. If I go down to the scroll T's, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes. 
But also since we were playing this large variety of games, we didn't know which one we were going to play specifically. That's why we're just under the just chatting channel as opposed to one of the other ones because I don't know what we're going to play. Uh, triple Punch isn't in the list. Maybe, uh, oh, um, Ladybug? Ladybug. Ladybug. <laughs> you were talking about owning the, the game. No, they don't have Ladybug in here. Well, maybe it's in this selection. I don't know. Though these are actually um, Neo Geo, I think. Yeah, that's oh, a small point FB Alpha. These are all these are the thick Neo Geo cartridges mm -hmm. that you can actually buy for the Neo Geo AES system that was six hundred dollars in the nineties. Mm. Each of these cartridges were two hundred dollars, but they were literally exactly the same thing used in the arcade. Mm -hmm. So it's like you're spending significantly less in order to get exactly the same experience. And yeah. You can actually take the memory cards of games that would save to those memory mm -hmm. cards, take them to the arcade version, and keep playing. They were completely compatible with one another. Well, normally, you, the arcades, you don't have access to the memory card. Well, I mean, the for the, the Neo Geo ones, you did. Oh, you're right. Yeah, you can actually save oh. your games and actually keep playing if you mm -hmm. bought a memory card and you know, popped in your quarters or whatever to play it. But, of course, mm -hmm. if you spent that much to, to have a home copy of it, even back in the 90s, which was thousands of dollars to have any of these games, which are in and of themselves really rare too. There's one more game, uh, 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 arcade-wise. There's um, Red, Red Alarm, not Red Alarm, Red Clash? That sounds, yeah. Not Wreck, Red. Pred Predator. Predator, or Stoop Red. Not Red, Red, Space, here, yeah. Clash. No, okay. So all of those games were like significantly older than MAME, so they probably wouldn't be represented on here. Even though I'm sure old. if I went to some other console, I could probably find a version of Ladybug somewhere on here, maybe like original Nintendo. You search for, for mm -hmm. Ladybug. I'm pretty sure it was ported to other consoles. Little Lady. Just Lady, okay. No? No Lady. Mm -hmm. No Lady, apparently. Oh, well. They could take it down to the L's, at least. But no. No, it didn't have it. No, we have a couple of these uh, NES D&D games. But even then, they're, they're hit and miss kind of thing. Some of them are really good. Other ones are just, seriously, you release this as a game. The enemies hit you, you yeah, miss. Yeah, yeah. That's kind of hit and miss. Yeah. Did I see Gilligan's Island on there? Yes. Oh, oh. Adventures of Tom Sawyer, Rocky and Bullwinkle. Hey, Rocky. What's the little bit of it? Some of these are actually uh, translated, so they have fan patches to <coughs> translate the game into English. So there are other... Mm. Cart uh, consoles like the Retron 5 that take physical cartridges like these Famicom cartridges mm -hmm. that uh, you can add ROM patches onto them so you can play the original legitimate copy huh. and play it in English. Wow. But of course you'd have to have an emulator <laughs> stepping in between and saying, use you know. this instead of what you're using. Hmm. So many games. And, of course, when you scroll past, it just goes to the top of the menus again. Mm -hmm. but, um, Any old game you were going to that? And you got ColecoVision. Um, you want to play some Atari 2600 stuff? <laughs> <laughs> Let's get some really classics. Okay, well, so he seems to be gone now. All right. Yeah. Let's see the Pac-Man. Pac-Man? Pac-Man. Yeah, to see how bad it is. I remember the original Pac-Man Pac just flickered. Man. And they made oh, yeah. it work, and it was smooth, but it was looked horrible. <laughs> Pango, Panda, Pac-Man, here we go. You used to have a regular Pac-Man on. <laughs> yeah, well, I think you still yeah. have that cartridge somewhere downstairs. Yeah, there you go. it looked like it. Yeah, the ghost. Oh, uh, no. Here. Ran right into him. He's dead, Jim. You can only have like two goes on at a time, oh, yeah. I think. There's a sprite limit. You can actually. I said there's have four there. or three there at least. Yeah, but at least mm -hmm. they had them like so close to each other. Otherwise, if they split up too much, they would just flicker out of existence and you couldn't really tell. See, oh, yeah. the, the farther away <laughs> apart they are, the worse they get. Mm. Although this was made in like six weeks, I think, or whatever it was. Oh, yeah. Kind of like ridiculous amount of ex expectations. 
for development time. So it's like you yeah. gotta cut them some slack somewhere, but to actually bigger problem with this game was it actually made more copies of the cartridge than the consoles existed. Because people will <laughs> want to have multiple copies of Pac-Man, right? It's so popular. <laughs> he was so good. So we got two more bits left. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, oh, I still had it. Oh, well. That's that. Of course, there's also um, mm, this E.T. Nice. Let's go ahead and E.T. E.T. Finish off with uh, E.T.? Finish off with E.T.? Yeah, yeah let's finish off with E.T. Yeah, we're going to cut it down a little early today. Yeah. We started earlier, so yeah. Yeah. Did we? A little bit. Oh, yeah, that was before 6. E.T. Extraterrestrials? Oh, that's a different game. No, that looks good. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, E.T. Oh, is that no. E dot T dot? Yes. Ooh! It's scary. The game that crashed <laughs> the American mm. console market. Well. And every movement you make takes off your life bar, and you have to find the the objects in each of these pits, and and oh. avoid and avoid falling in again. Wait a minute, where's the life bar? That. The bottom. Bottom. The bottom. Every movement, everything, your actions. Oh, I can't get out of here. There. Okay. Try again. You have to go on one of those. Oh, no. Hey, well, it just keeps falling endlessly. Into the same pit. In the same pit. I'm trying to get out of it. Ah. Okay. Maybe you have to go to the edge. I just reset. Push start, reset. I didn't make any progress anyway, so maybe uh, pick up a Reese there. I think he has one Reese piece. What? You fell in a pit, picking up a recent? Maybe you have to climb up the side. No, you can only go straight up. Huh. And so it's like, well, okay, there we go. <clears throat> and the arrows are supposed to indicate, ah, no, we gotta go, get away from the Batman. And the other Batman. Oh, no, he took me. He took me. Oh, no, get away, get away. Ah. Oh, well. Oh, a thing. What's this? Oh, you have to find the pieces to the telephone. Oh. Because yeah, like, it, if you actually had the manual to this thing, it would properly explain. I've seen the cha channels like the LJN Defender will, will go to these kind of games and say, they're not as bad as you think they are. I mean, they're bad. They're worse. <laughs> they're worse. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Pretty much. Okay. Okay. All right. Ended it on a terrible note. Well, I mean, you yes. could just find a better game to end it on. No, that's fine. Know. That's where we're at. That's where it's going to end it. Okay. So, yes, we are. So yeah, they do have I a so. links downstairs. I could technically play two games, Gauntlet and I do have the legal. Mm -hmm. Alright. Anyways, we were not even concerned about that. So next time. Hopefully our player will not be sick anymore, so we can go back to playing uh Acquisitions Incorporated. Because mm -hmm. uh, we were in the middle of that game. And so yeah, the other group's gonna get ahead of us. They are already ahead of you. What? I know. The last session they actually made a little extra progress. Ah. Uh. Yes. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. But again, they're, you know, two children and an adult yeah. that barely knows how to play the game. So. so what do you think of this, though? Yeah, it, that's amazing. It's a Absolutely blast amazing. from the past of so many pasts of so many different yeah. things. Yeah, yeah. So many. it's incredible somebody took all the time to put, all this together, put that yeah. together. Yeah. Anyway. So next time will be Monday. Next mm -hmm. Monday. Hopefully. Yeah. Barring any other circumstances. Until next time, happy gaming. Bye-bye. <laughs>